Thank you. Um, our next presenter is Steve Magus. He's the Ohio bike lawyer. Um, he's an avid cyclist, an Ohio trial lawyer. Just attended his 30th law reunion for Ohio State University, so he's been out there for a little while. Steve Solo law practice focuses, focuses primarily on two wheels. He's handled more than 300 bike-related cases. Steve's also a longtime bike advocate, sits on the board of trustees of the Ohio Bike Federation, where he works on legal issues. He's also helped to, helped to draft the Better Cycling Bill, passed unanimously into law in 2006. He's been to numerous bike summits in Washington, D.C., and writes extensively on bike law issues. He's an author of Bicycling and the Law, and was also a contributing author to Bicycle Accident Reconstruction and Litigation. Steve has spoken many times at OTEC. Today he'll be talking about ongoing project of reviewing in detail each and every fatal bike accident in Ohio. Steve founded this firm, the Magus Firm, in 2009, and he can be found at, found at ohiobikelawyer.com. Please welcome Steve. Good morning. You're getting warmed up now. I felt the applause. <laughs> My uh, practice over the last uh, 30 years has really changed a lot. I've done uh, a lot of personal injury and wrongful death cases and those types of things. Uh, I've done about 25 years of the bicycle related stuff as initially as sort of a little sideline and nobody else did. And now it's the bread and butter of my practice that, that nobody else does. So I'll just keep it quiet and nobody will uh, want those cases. But uh, the, um, the topic today I'm going to talk about the, uh, I thought that was it. Yeah. 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 Maybe it is. No, it's on. <laughs> Left or right? There no, it's on. There you go. Do you know which button it is? Should be the right. Here, right. <coughs> right. Ah, there you go. There we go. Oh, this is not my thing here. <laughs> Bicycle fatalities and crashes and causes to some degree. We're also going to touch on uh, some things on some recent uh, cases that have happened here in Columbus uh, and a few other things around the state. But first, a lesson in crashing. And if you've heard this story before, I apologize, but it's such a good one. I love to, to, to repeat it. Um, this was Memorial Day in New York City. A lot of people were out. A lot of bike riders were out, thousands and thousands of bike riders. Uh, and uh, there was a car race, and they decided to close down the streets in New York City for this car race. And uh, so these the cars are racing, and uh, somehow the guy loses control of the car, and he whacks uh, somebody else on the road. Um, and this was a, uh, uh, the, the driver was arrested, the person was injured, kind of the typical sort of thing you hear about 10,000 times a day, except uh, in this particular case, the crash happened in 1896. Uh, this was the first recorded auto crash in U.S. history, and the, uh, the person who was injured was uh, Evelyn, and she was riding uh, one of the hot new vehicles at the time, a Columbia bicycle. Um, and so the first car crash in, in the United States that was recorded involved a car crashing into a bicycle. Uh, and you know, we're kind of... Uh, that was a hotbed of uh, activity back in the 1880s, 1890s. The Cincinnati Cycle Club was founded in 1880. Uh, if you're familiar with, with the history of the Good Roads Movement that kind of swept through the country politically as a very strong movement in the late 1800s into the 1900s uh, in terms of building roads and the strange coalition of farmers and commercial people and bicycle uh, groups, including the League of American Wheelmen at the time, uh, which was founded also in 1880. Uh, that was a powerful uh, political uh, movement at the time as well. So uh, this, these issues relating to bicycles aren't something new that just cropped up in the last 20 years. Uh, unfortunately, though, from the cyclist perspective and the bike advocate's perspective, we're talking about the same issues today that we were talking about uh, 120, 130 years ago, which is, you know, should bikes be on the road? Where do they belong on the road? How does how do we make things so that they're accommodated? How do we educate uh, the motoring public about uh, the fact that bicycles are on the road and we have a right to be on the road? So in terms of some, just some numbers, um, the 29,113, that's the total number 
of bicycle fatalities in the United States since 1975. Uh, what I found was interesting when I broke them down by decade, though, was that the um, in uh, the 36-year the average is around 808 cycling crashes per year. Um, however, the, each decade, those numbers have gone down. There were 930 in the 70s, 880 in the 80s, 790 in the 90s, and 702 in the last 10 or 12 years, and then there were 618 in 2010. So each decade, we've seen a significant drop in the number of people killed. However, um, what's happening is that we're seeing fewer and fewer kids being killed, which is a good thing, uh, but more and more adults. And, and if you think, and I, I'm not a statistician, but just thinking in terms of your own uh, uh, looking around the, your neighborhood over the last 30 years, uh, when I grew up in the 70s, kids were riding everywhere. We got up in the morning, we got on the bike, we didn't come home until you know, dinner time if, if mom was lucky, and uh, we spent the day on the bike riding around. They don't do that anymore. Uh, kids are too organized and planned and, and shipped from here to there by car. However, those of us who are now in our 50s continue to ride, and, and there's uh, been a, a huge uptick in, in riders, fitness riders. Uh, there's been a, a, a big grassroots mo uh, movement of uh, bicycle riding again. Uh, people are discovering that it's fun and it's exciting and it's you can get from place to place and, and as uh, the uh, communities are incorporating uh, bicycles and transportation into their planning, uh, you're seeing uh, people enjoy it, they want it, and they're, yeah, they're willing to vote for it and spend money on it. Um, but that's had the, there's more adults killed today on the road than there were in 1975. In 1975 there were 1,003 fatalities uh, in the country. Uh, last year there were 618, but there's more adults killed today than there were in 75. The average age of cyclists killed is also trending up. Uh, but again, this is the same age group. The people 10 years ago, the average age was 10 years younger you know, than it is today. So the same people are sort of uh, out there, a lot of them anyway. But uh, there's also an uptick in uh, the ridership in the 20 to kind of 40 age group. They're spending a lot of money on bikes. They're buying a lot of bikes. They're, you're seeing a lot of $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 dollar bikes going off the shelves. Uh, as well as you know, millions and millions of, of Kmart and, and uh, Walmart bikes as well. But, 